Hey guys, welcome back to Too Hard Too Fast, the podcast where we have strong opinions Woo! on things that we may or may not know too much about. I feel like Z. My favorite thing in La Loteria like, is El Borracho. El Borracho. That's who I relate to the most. I feel Zeke deserved the contract he got. Who do you relate to the most in La Loteria? Um, El Corazón. No. <laughs> El Valiente. Ay. Okay. The Brave. Nerd. Nah. Yeah, no, it's good. No. Uh, what is it? La Chalupa. <laughs> hey, dude, there's some uh, millennial, there's some millennial Loteria ones that are pretty funny. Anyways, uh, go back to Dak. That what? You think Dak what? I'm saying Deke. Deke? Or Zeke? Deke. Deke. I just I combined both of them. Zeke deserved the contract. Actually, if you combine both of them, they deserve a contract together. Okay. Zeke deserved his contract. And he proved it. Uh, you, Zach, he got, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if he deserves the highest the 40 million and all that? contract. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he does. Okay, I feel like great. he doesn't. That's He's where great. I like him. I'm a fan, but I don't, I, I don't think he deserves the highest. Okay. Not now yet. this is where great, great. This is where I'm gonna disagree with you. Now, granted, I watch a lot of first take. I don't know if you guys watch first take. First aid. First take. Oh, it's first, on Sports oh. Center. Oh, first take is okay. Yeah, with Stephen A. and all them, they're funny. They're funny people. Oh no, never mind. Is that Stephen A? Yeah. Which one's the one that hates the Cowboys? Yeah, Stephen A. Dude. He oh yeah, hates yeah, the yeah. I don't I can't can't even. This them. past Chris, I think it was this past. He bought a little gift for Cowboy fans. Nothing. Absolutely. Nothing. I can't stand him because he hits my emotion. That's <laughs> what he's good at what he does, but no, no, he, he hits my emotions. So but I see, he's part of the problem. Him. Someone told him, you're part of the problem, man. He's all, you hate the Cowboys so much that you bring attention to them. So you're part of the problem. You know what I mean? So I want to know why he hates the Cowboys so much. He did. No, no, he's he, expressed it because he, he, um. Because he used to be a fan? I, I can't, damn it. I, I know he, he's explained it before. I think he either had family, like typical, because like, I know a lot of people too, kind of the same thing, but I could be wrong. But of course, I know people, oh, I, my family were Cowboy fans and I just wanted to go against them, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, so I can't remember if it was that or, yeah, like you said, he was a fan. And he's been disappointed year after year. Or, I don't know. So, yeah, no, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. He doesn't hate the Cowboys. He hates Cowboy fans. And the reason he hates Cowboy fans it's because every time we lose, oh, we'll get them next week. Or if we, oh, we'll, we'll win the Super Bowl next year. He <laughs> hates Cowboy fans. He doesn't hate Cowboys. The Cowboys franchise or the team, he hates Cowboy fans. That's what he hates. <laughs> See, my, my, always, my, my, my first take on that is that, uh, <laughs> is that like any like person that on social media or even like family, whatever, like if – if they strongly express the hatred to the Cowboys, then more than likely they used to be a Cowboys fan and they just gave up. So now they just want to 100% hate the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. So I get that. But then they turn around and be like a bandwagon to a team that's winning yeah, to the Patriots. The Chiefs or something. Uh, or now something. the Chiefs, yeah. Or what it used to be even then, like it used to be like the Eagles or – Oh, oh yeah, I hate that. I know, and no Come one on, cares man. about him no more. Come on, man! Like, yeah. Hey, let, let, let's go back. Hey, I really hope Tom Brady, dude. I hope. I honestly hope he does really well, and I hope the Patriots suck this year, dude. Anyways, um, but if you want to go into that, we can. Let me go back to. I'm a big Tom Brady and, fan. I'm a big Tom Brady fan. I like the way. I like what he does. I'm glad he's out of the Patriots, dude. Bunch of cheat. Hopefully he doesn't cheat. Hopefully he doesn't take his cheating habits over there. And maybe it's not his fault. You think you think uh Gronk is gonna join him? Didn't he retire? I don't he said. Well, the thing was he got released from the Patriots. Mm. So he can join the um uh, what is it, Buccaneers? Buccaneers? Uh, no, you know uh you know who I'm really TNT hoping TNT the Cowboys TNT? get back? 
I'm really hoping they get Des Bryant back, bro. The markers where? What? Oh, where too? <laughs> But Des Bryant has shown interest and in that he tweeted nah, that they're Des Bryant is not coming back. They're not going to pay him. Bring him back. They're not going to pay him. They're not going to pay him. Pay him half a million. He'll play. He he's won't not. not getting paid anything. He wants money. He's going to want money. Okay, they're he has to prove it. They're not going to pay him. And they don't and have okay. to for him. They have uh, really good wide receivers. I think, well, no, they do, dude. Like Lamb and all them. Dude. Wait, wait, let's go back to Zeke and Prescott. <laughs> this is, so, because I think we found some disagreement there. You said Zeke deserves it. Granted, he was a top three running back, all that stuff. Even his rookie year, he almost broke the rookie record, all that stuff, right? But the big issue was, is uh, he he did he did have controversy. He did, uh, I guess, abuse women. He was found partying. He was found this. Hey, you and then he some controversy. So then, dude, then he left to come out saying, I did man. I don't know. Huh? Anybody's dumb. So you can party, just don't. But the, okay, but this is where I disagree with you because so many people have been telling Dak. Let's say there's no conspiracy. Let's say it's really just playing out. It's just business deal, business deal, right? Assuming that is the case. With Dak, everyone's telling him, "Dude, like you're, you're like yeah, you're good, but you still haven't proven yourself, and you should just accept what 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 they're giving you because it's still a good deal." And Dak's saying, like, no, I think I deserve more. And, and, and let me tell you why I agree with them. Check it. Because people are saying, well, no, you, he, he should accept less. But then that's bull. Or, or people are like, oh, he should sacrifice himself so that the team could get better players. But then my, my whole thing is, like, well, how come no one required that of Zeke? How come no one said, well, Zeke, you should, you should uh, accept less yeah. money for the betterment of the team? Well, wait, hold up. With Dak Prescott, dude, he's been to every game. He hasn't missed a game yet. <clears throat> He's been he's been a leader. He's been he's been like the utmost big, uh, role model for players and everything, dude. Um, why doesn't he deserve that money? Even if he's even if he's not the best quarterback, because he didn't prove it. This season this season was for him to prove it, and he did great. He did fine. He did fine. I won't. I I shouldn't say great. He did fine. Come on, look where we ended up. He did fine. But is it his fault or is it the defense fault? Zeke, I feel like Zeke proved it. I think we lost the no line of the, our offensive line, and our defense has always been struggling, 100%. And once again, this is a strong opinion from someone that doesn't know too much or does know much about this fact. But yeah, me too. I'm getting my information from Sports Center, but I agree with them. Our defense. Is it not the, the defense's time? fault? For the longest time, our old. defense has failed. Uh, our O line because Dak put up the numbers, bro. Dak, I don't, I don't know if he put up. He put up stats, but that's again, that's also the Romo thing. Like Romo was a stats quarterback. He knew what he was doing, but at least in my opinion, he knew what he was doing. He put up stats, but in the time crunch or when it needed to be it wasn't there and that's where i have the problems like i need a team that's solid like i want to for me the thing that Dak brought the first season was a feeling of oh we have the ball we might actually keep it where before it was like oh we have the ball how are we gonna lose it all right. Well, I don't know. Well, going back to his well, contract, just, I still disagree. You're just going to cave on me like that? No, no, no. I still disagree, dude. I still think uh -huh. Dak deserves his money because I don't think it's fair to tell oh, Dak. Oh, hey, why? You tell me why. I just Dak told you, bro. His money. Why I, should he be the highest paid quarterback? Dude, he hasn't missed the a league. game. He's been a good role model. He hasn't gotten in trouble like Z. There's, he hasn't there's missed any game. And third string quarterbacks that have never missed a game. Huh? <laughs> the what? Nothing. Dude, he's been a leader, uh, and and yeah, his, the offense they do pretty decent. Sometimes it's the defense side that man, they're the ones who give up points and they end up losing. So it's not really his fault; it's just the outcome of the team as a whole. But him as an individual, dude, he he's had the passing yards, he's had the touchdowns, he's done he's done really good. And then I don't think it's fair to tell Z uh, to tell him, hey, take a take really a good the team when you're not going to tell Z to do that. Has he done good or has he done highest paid quarterback good or has he done good 
He's cons- a high he's what, been consistently in the top five when it comes to like passing yards and all that stuff. Um, but then a big thing too is now okay, there's a new coach. So maybe maybe it was the head coach that that they had that maybe held them back too. So how do you know it wasn't that factor? Hey, that's you know true I mean? too. That that didn't allow him to call the plays or or to be as good as he could have been. He I would agree with that. you with that also. Because there was a lot of conservative plays from a head coach, from a past head coach, if you recall. I would agree you with know? you with that. Instead of taking risks sometimes, it would just be, well, it's punted. It's like, really, dude? <laughs> they, would, they would take risks when it was unnecessary, and then they, would, they wouldn't take risks when it was necessary. Do you think and this new coach is going to be sense. better? Huh? Do you think this new coach is – okay. Do you think – do you think well, the coach he has experience coach with Aaron Rodgers? So that's. Do you think the coach is running the game, or do you think Jerry Jones is running the game? On I mean, Sunday, on Sunday. That, well, that's what's matter. hard. Okay, is the coach running the game, or is Jerry Jones running? Well, the game? I think that's been the issue with past coaches, and that's why Jerry Jones has fired them because they want the credit, and that's not what Jones wants. He wants he wants to either collaborate with the head coach. Or allow the head coach to do whatever they think is best, but then give Jerry Jones the credit. Either tell way, Jerry Jones wants the credit. What think. And on I, Sunday, to answer this, on Sunday, who's running the game, the coach or Jerry Jones? Uh, I think a lot of times Jerry Jones, but I think he's taking his foot off the pedal a little bit, and I think he's I think he's now allowing the head coaches, and I think well, Garrett has been uh, towards the end. I think he started letting Garrett do his own thing, and I think he's gonna let uh, Mike do his own thing. So I think we'll, we'll see what happens. But in the past, it's mainly been Jones, of course. This is fantasy football. Right? Like, can, you blame him? Huh? can you blame him? It's his money. I mean, I don't blame him, dude. Like, when I play fantasy football, I'm going to make whatever decisions huh? I think is best because it's my money on the line. Same thing with him. It's his money on the, on the line. So if anyone's going to mess up, it might just be because it's his decision. So in a way, no, I, I don't know. know. If I'm going to if I'm gonna go and hire somebody that's supposed to know how to run a team, then I'm gonna I'm gonna put all my stuff on him and say, okay, I got you. If run. Jerry Jones was allowed to be the owner, uh, uh, CEO, um, uh, what is he also the general manager, the GM, and the head coach? I think he'd be all for. Yeah, of course. But but no, that that wouldn't look right. So he's all. The head coach that he's I, that he he's wanting them to be puppets, and sometimes they're not, and that's where there's conflict. And Garrett, he's lasted so long because he tries to have that balance of, okay, I'll listen to Jones when he tells me to do something, and then I'll try to do my best. But then sometimes he's like, crap. I think okay, I, I, think, me, I think it was an abusive like relationship. There's times too. I've had it. I don't know if you've been in, in work environments. I've been in work environments too, where like I'm all crap. I think this is the best thing to do, but I already know if I do this, my boss is going to be upset or he's going to think it was a bad decision. And so even though I disagree with it, I would still be, well, knowing how my boss is going to think or what he's going to, how he's going to perceive it, I'm just going to go with what he might think is best, you know, to be in the safe route because he's my boss. And I think that's what Garrett had to do. And then I think towards the end, maybe he gave him a little bit more freedom and it just, I mean, still, I mean, you can't get out of that habit of, of great. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I don't know. I do what I want, so. Huh? I do what I want, so. Yeah? And that's yeah, why you get fired all the time. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyways, I wanted to move on. So, anyways, I think Dak should get his money. No, I, think gonna, gonna, I still think I it's, think a, I think it's, it's, just for, it's just for attention, and I think he'll eventually get his money. And it's to justify him getting the money, too, so. All right, fair enough. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna agree to disagree. I feel like he really wants that money, and I don't think he deserves all of it. I think he deserves to get paid highly, but not all of it. No, and yeah, yeah. I that. mean, and it's gonna affect their cap and everything. So, I mean, that's what yeah. it's hard. But I still don't think it's fair to ask one player to sacrifice for the team, and not ask of that of another player. How come no one brought that up for Zeke? You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to move on to something that I don't know too much about, but uh, I know you know about the, the hockey league and stuff. No. Are they going to bring that back or what? 